So unless the BCM50 is a lot smaller than what I thought it is, then I might be in trouble here because this is a very tiny box for what I, what I believe is supposed to be in it. So let's open this one first. And it's very light, which is not a good sign. Or maybe a BCM50 can fit in here. I don't think it can. Oh my goodness! BCM50s are extremely tiny. I did not... Okay. Good. I did not get gypped. I have a BCM50 and it's extremely small. Alright. Well, there's package number one. The BCM50. Whoops. BCM50. Let me open it up a little bit more here. That's so, that's a relief. I swear I thought I got screwed over here. I mean, maybe I did. I don't, I don't know. But this is so much smaller than I expected it. Sorry. Sorry, it's off the camera here. So let's just, yeah. You know, undo all this. BCM50 right there. Wow, that's extremely small. I was not expecting that. Alright, this is so nice to have, actually. So as you can see, there's the bottom of it, BCM50. Um, you got your Amphenol connector here, which I have an Amphenol cable. I just picked up today. These four, or these three here are your LAN connections. This is the um, computer access, which you can access it from here, but from the LAN, but you need this connected. Um, you need this right here connected um, if you're first setting it up because basically it has an internal router with the uh, subnet of 10, 10... 11 so this is 10 10 11 1 you can connect to that this will always be 10 10 11 1 if you're on that port which is what you just connect to your computer so yeah so yeah that's actually small i'm very surprised sadly this is a revision 3 and i knew it was a revision 3 but the reason why is because right afterwards i found one a little bit more expensive but a revision 6 a via one brand new in box so but yeah, that's like absolutely tiny. I, I wasn't expecting it to be so small. This is a new setting, but uh, guess what? The package from Rainbow Dash came today, so let's open it up. All right, right here. And the BCM50 came, and I got a video of it, but my parents were talking discuss, uh, uh, things that shouldn't be announced to the public, like finance stuff. And, uh, and I don't know if I got that in it. So, yeah. So, let me just open it up here. Let's see. Can y'all see everything here? Alrighty. Let me just make it a little bit taller. Whoops. And, yes, I am doing this on, on a trailer. Which, I mean, you can't really tell, honestly. But, you know, I kind of like the backdrop here. So, let's open it up and see what's inside. Okay. There's some foam blocks. <laughs> and I see some of his good old... Um, I see some of his good old whatchamacallit. Alright, there we go. I see some of his good old ribbon cable. Okay, let's open this up. Just, let me just... Okay, so, here we are. Let's take out some of this stuff. Oop, I see an ad crayon. Oh, yep, yeah. okay need a what in the heck oh okay all right so basically what we got here oh okay this is interesting okay so we got a lot of good stuff here move all the packing material out of the way so this is a lot of stuff for me to have fun oh there's a message message to k4nfp from kj7bzc oh that's all the username information this Yep, yeah, this is fun. All right, this is an Amphenol connector, okay? That he painstakingly soldered and put hot glue. Oh, wow, he even he's even covered on it. That he put on to a jack here. So this is lines one and two on this Amphenol connector, which is really fun. Now, that ain't good. Uh, looks, I don't know if this was like that at his house, but, uh, but the ear is bent on, like, bent pretty badly right here. So, yeah, that's not fun. But I'll, I'll bend that back, no big deal. And here's a big giant ad trend. Wow, that's nice to have. 
<laughs> Add Tran right here. And I'm guessing this is the... Oh, uh, there's a lot of good stuff in here. Oh, okay. Uh, where's my knife? Okay. Ugh, I just dropped it. Alrighty. Um, that's annoying. Why would you do this? I have to danger myself by cutting the top of the baggie. This tape is so terrible. <laughs> you annoy me sometimes. <laughs> just kidding. Alrighty. There we are. Alright, what do we got here? Oh, what looks like to be one of those gas sensor things. That's cool. And he <laughs> soldered one of those good old sea foam pin connectors on there. That's fun. Go gas detector. What other stuff we got in here? <laughs> a Dallas chip. That's funny. I mean, it, I don't think it, I don't think it was a joke at the time when he when he sent this, but since then it's became funny now. So here's a LED. I don't know. Uh, probably red. Maybe I don't know. I'm seeing a lot of stuff. Oh, okay. This is gonna that that's a good sign. There's a little key here. And another LED because he has a bunch of because he sent me a, a lot of them. And that's power, so I'd assume that'd be green. I have no clue what this is. TWSS. It's got a power and a hard drive LED. Uh yeah, just a little pin header. I don't actually know what this is. TWSS switch. I don't know what that does. Uh, is this a little relay? Or I don't, I don't really know. 30 volts DC Siemens. This could definitely be a relay. Ah, there's, a, there's bugs all over me. Probably wasn't the best idea to be barefoot out here. I don't know what that is. I'll have to ask him. Oh, little buzzer. <laughs> Neat. Oh, and the keys. Yep. <laughs> Okay, here we go. Here's the test. Oh, is that the wrong? Bit? If I can get it in there. Oh, yes. That's nice. I'm going to be using this on the annunciator build, definitely. That's nice. Okay, let's stick that in there. What's on the... Oh, yes, okay. What we got here? What is this? Oh, that's, <laughs> yeah, oh, that's awesome. Check that out. Okay, it, that is awesome. Oh, thank you so much. All right, I don't know how much I missed, how much you guys missed. But, yeah, I just realized that. Uh, another little red LED, it looks like. And a laser, which I'm not going to take out there, but, oh, no, that's a, that is a vibrator motor. That's neat. <laughs> reuse M sticker. Well, if I can't have the reuse, if I can't go to the reuse M, he can bring some of the reuse M to me. <laughs> and some high smart server management property. So let's go ahead and use that QR code if y'all want. <laughs> Alright. Oh, this is funny. Okay, so let's recap everything I got here. I got a buzzer. Uh, oh, and I, then there's that, which I'm not going to get into. I got. I can pull it up. I got a buzzer, <laughs> a Dallas clock chip, which I don't know if it's still working, a key switch, which is really neat, a gas detector, which I don't know how to use. Well, I guess that's a gas detector. I'm what I'm guessing to be a relay, but I don't know. I'll have to ask him. I don't know what this is at all. It's just got a switch and two LEDs on it couple resistors here. There was a bipolar one. I don't know if I already put that in the bag or what. hope I didn't lose it. I can't tell if it's in the bag or not. couple LEDs. Uh, some, uh, this interesting thing, which I guess to be the display. Another seven segment display. Some driver chip here. Or Motorola chip of some sort. Red LED and something else. And uh, a little diode. If I can fit all this crap back into the bag. Well, it's not crap, but like, if I can fit all this stuff back into the bag. And a coat and a, and a wheel. Uh, one of these segment wheels, which I find funny. So that's very cool. And 
What's we got here? All right, and this is the Amphenol connector with the two lines already connected up on it. So thank you for that. Now let's yank this off the top of the, oh, there's the bipolar LED. Okay. Stick that back in there. Oh, and I do not, oh, dang it. All right. I need to slice this tape off without screwing up the paint on the ad tram. I probably just did. Are you kidding? <laughs> now there's a, is that, now what, there's something on the back of this. Is this the back of an, El no, Ricard Weekly Tet, <laughs> okay, it's, it's thermal printer paper from his BAS. Okay, and this is the glory of them all besides the ad tram. This, oh, okay, this is awesome. <laughs> Probably wasn't a good idea to open this in direct sunlight as it's not healthy for this in any way. Okay. Oh, uh, okay, there we go. Oh man. <laughs> okay. <laughs> a gigantic vacuum fluorescent graphical display. Yeah. And what I'm guessing to be power connections, I'm not sure. But, yeah, that is giganterific, honestly. That is huge. It's a gigantic graphical display, honestly. Okay. <laughs> wow. I want to stick this back in there so I don't break it because, or get it exposed to direct sunlight, which I am doing. <laughs> okay. Okay. In here is the Adtran itself, which will make my room another 90 degrees above what it is. Adtran for K4 and FP. A little high smart sticker there. Lines configuration. Okay, I'm guessing that's his stuff from before. Yeah, because it says radiax and radionics and stuff. Protostar communication systems. Install date 2020. ID 0124, device type FXS, critical, end of service. Okay. <laughs> High smart thing. I'm... And you can see down in there. And here's the back. So we got a grounding, which I'm not going to be using because I'm going to be rack mounting it. Ugh. Standard IEC connector. BBU, I'm guessing that means battery backup, which is cool. You can do that. Craft, I don't know what that is. Maybe cereal. Uh, tin base T. Oh, that's gigabit. Neat. USB, which I don't know what it does. A whole bunch of Ethernet ports here. Oh, so two Ethernet ports. Oh, uh, which you can't see. Sorry. There's two Ethernet ports here, which I don't know what they're used for. And some tin. Th there's T1 connections here. So if I get something else that can do T1, I got a connector for it. And right here is the big giant Amphenol connector, which I have. So yes, which is very nice, which honestly, I'm not going to be able to, I'm not going to use this on this, at least not yet, because I need to use this on the, uh, whatchamacallit, on the Nortel BCM50, because, well I need to use it on the BCM50 because I need, <laughs> I need uh, to program it and stuff, but yes. So this is very nice and lovely. Thank you a lot, Rainbow Dash 7X. And I know I said I would open it on call with you, but I couldn't, so sorry. But uh, I will definitely call you right after this. But thank you a lot. Uh, I'll link his description. I'll link his channel down below or up in the corner. And uh, yeah, really appreciate it for sending him for him. I really appreciate him for sending me this stuff. And uh, yeah, I'm really excited to get to use this display, which is freaking awesome. Look at that. And all the cool little devices and the thumb wheel switch. That's funny. So yeah, uh, thanks a lot. And um, thank you all for watching. And I'll see you all later.